Hello everyone and welcome to Cisco Cyber Ops Associate Learning Path. I'm Sajid Adil and I will be your instructor for the entirety of this learning path. So what are we going to be looking at for this learning path? Um, before, uh, before we get into that, let's talk about who this learning path and this certification is talking about are really geared towards. Number one, this could be anyone new to IT, entirely new to IT, or someone who's new to cybersecurity and wants to get started with cybersecurity, whether it's Cisco focused or not. Well, yes, the, this, this, is a, this is a Cisco certification and it does focus a lot on Cisco services, its products and technologies, but there's a lot of good information in this that is not Cisco specific. So it will absolutely benefit anyone, even if you're not using Cisco technology. Uh, because we are going to touch base on the SOC processes uh, and, and everything. So anyone who is new to IT or new to cybersecurity can benefit from this learning path and from this certification. And anyone who is experienced in the IT field, regardless of you know, what aspect of IT that might be, but looking to perhaps make a move into cybersecurity or specialize a bit in cybersecurity while maybe keeping the, you know, your, your same role. So this uh, learning path and certification are appropriate for those type of individuals as well. And then also uh, anyone who is an experienced cybersecurity professional, but maybe they're looking to specialize a bit more with Cisco cybersecurity technologies, their products and their services as well. So uh, this learning path, this certification is for you as well. So really what it boils down to is this learning path and this certification, the CyberOps 200-201, it, it will apply or at least be useful for really anyone interested in cybersecurity. So what are we going to be looking at throughout this learning path? Let's take a look at that. So we're going to start off with a good introduction to the fundamentals of cybersecurity. Things like the CIA triad, defense in depth, uh, principle of least privilege, things like that. Then uh, we'll look at uh, various different types of uh, threats, vulnerabilities, exploits, what each of those are. They're again different types. And how do you protect an organization's environment from all of them? We'll also look at uh, various different types of tools that can be used for both network and security purposes. And of course, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a Cisco certification. We're gonna take a look at Cisco security appliances and services as well. Things like your Cisco ISC, Identity Services Engine, or the Cisco WSA or ESA, your web security appliance and your email security appliance. We'll look at all of those as well. We'll also go into a little bit on cloud security and uh, various different types of access control models and methods. How you manage and maintain proper authenticated access to various systems in a corporate environment. We'll uh, also take a look at a couple of different encryption topics as well. Things like SSL and TLS, PKI and digital signatures and some VPN technology in there as well. Next up, uh, uh, in addition to all of that, we'll take a look at uh, security operation centers or a SOC. That's where a security analyst uh, basically works. That's their department. Um, so in a SOC, we can use different tools. There are different processes, procedures, and of course, different types of operations and management processes and techniques for a security operation center uh, in, a, in a corporate uh, setting. Then uh, we'll take a look at intrusion analysis. 
performing analysis after an intrusion or while there is a suspected intrusion occurring right now in your environment and also going through different events and information from those systems. We'll also look at uh, digital forensics topics, how to properly collect evidence, maintain a chain of custody for the forensics purposes, for presenting evidence in a court of law if needed. Some investigations do get uh, legal, so uh, there are proper processes and uh, approved tools that you can use to collect uh, forensic evidence that is acceptable in a court of law. And then we'll uh, tie all this together with uh, various different types of analysis methods and tools for both network devices, network traffic, and different endpoints. And then we'll wrap it all up by talking about threat hunting techniques and threat hunting practices as well. So that's what uh, we're gonna be talking about throughout this learning path. And now let's take a look at the exam really quick. So first of all, there are no uh, prerequisite certificates. Like you don't need to hold any certification prior to uh, learning or going for the cyber ops associate. There's no cert certificates that you're required to have in order to take the Cisco cyber ops associate exam. There are no prerequisites for it at all, other than of course basic uh, computer knowledge and having access to internet. internet. And there are also uh, virtual machines in the course. One is your uh, cyber ops VM and the other is security onion the ALK stack, Elastic, Log Stash, Kimana for investigation purposes. So you're going to need uh, at least 40 GB of disk space for both virtual machines and about uh, one core is required for, uh, for, for the cyber ops virtual machine. Let me see if I have it. So yeah, this is your security onion and uh, minimum memory required for this VM is four gigs and recommended is eight gigs. This is your RAM. As for the cybersecurity lab VM workstation, uh, you can run it with one GB of memory, but I've given it at least uh, four gigs. So uh, this is something that you need to be able to run the virtual machines on your system. So you wanna make sure you have enough disk space and that you have enough system memory to allocate to these virtual machines. Uh, do keep in mind though that we won't be running both virtual machines at once, only one virtual machine will be running at once. You will be required to run at once. So you don't have to take into account uh, that you need, uh, let's say 12 gigs of RAM to be able to do the labs because you will only be needing to run one virtual machine at a time. So that's uh, it about your prerequisites. And of course, it's a good idea to have some basic IT knowledge and things like that. But you don't really need any cybersecurity knowledge in order to jump into this topic as well. So um, there are five domains of knowledge in the cyber ops associate exam. You have your basic security, fundamental security topics that covers about 20% of the exam. And then you have security monitoring. Uh, you're uh, monitoring different types of systems, looking over those logs, those metrics, performing analysis in these logs. That's going to cover about 25% of the exam because that is the job of a SOC analyst. And then your host-based analysis will be another 20%. And then uh, network intrusion analysis will make up yet another 20% of the exam. And then finally, your security policies and procedures, the kind of the governance, risk and compliance, the GRC portion of the exam. 
that will account for about 15% uh, of the exam. And this is a timed exam. It is a 120 minute exam or a two hour exam. Now Cisco doesn't publicize the number of questions or specify the number of questions that are on the exam. They do say that uh, it's a bit variable depending on the performance of the exam. And as far as the logistics go, this course has about 28 modules, uh, 30 videos, 46 hands-on and paper labs, um, six PD simulations, uh, PD as in packet tracer for network simulations. There are uh, multiple interactive activities, um, 46 plus check your understandings. Uh, they, they, that's a questionnaire uh, that you can take before jumping into a topic. And then of course there are uh, 28 module quizzes as well. And nine module group exams. There's one uh, exam practice before you take the final exam. And uh, there's a certification practice exam as well for the Cyber Ops 200-201 uh, exam. So let's hop over to NetAcad. This will be your interface and you can see we have a bunch of uh, course resources. Um, this is a lab environment FAQ. This is the workstation virtual machine that I have installed in uh, VMware Workstation. You can uh, you can also install the VM using VirtualBox, and that's also recommended in the FAQ. But I chose VMware Workstation because I have multiple other VMs uh, set up in Workstation as well. This uh, file, this um, virtual machine file, is for systems that are not Intel x86 architecture based. This is for ARM based machines such as your Apple MacBooks and some other devices. So if you don't have a Windows machine, uh, you can set up the virtual machine using this uh, UTM tar file. And this is your security onion. This is your ALK stack uh, tool for investigations. This is the course outline. You have a knowledge check. Then your module start and you'll see that at the end of every module there's a summary and there's a quiz. At the end of every single module. So Every single module has a quiz, and then you also have these checkpoint exams. These are all the modules I will be covering. And you'll see around the end what we have additional to these modules. 28 modules completed, then there is an exam. And then this is the newer uh, version 1.2 of the cyber ops exam. This is a practice exam. And then this one is for version one uh, exam practice. And then this is your final exam. And at the end, you'll also have uh, course feedback. That's also necessary for getting the digital badge and course completion certificate. So this is your uh, entire course and you are going to have labs in each of the modules. So IP services, there's a lab. And in the labs you're going to see there is an attached PDF that you need to download. It's going to contain the instructions and uh, steps that you need to take to do your lab. There are going to be some questions in there as well. So they're going to ask you, uh, give you a task and ask you a bunch of questions and you have to do the lab to be able to answer those questions. So that's your course overview. And your uh, content of this course. So 
if you guys are ready to start a career in cybersecurity operations, this course is your launch pad. So I'm currently teaching this live under Mohammed Musa's guidance, where students gain a mentorship, labs, and exam prep support. So if you guys are interested, uh, you can uh, click the link below to learn more or join the next cohort and start your path toward becoming a certified Cisco Cyber, uh, Cyber Ops Associate. And let's build your future in cybersecurity, one alert at a time.